Hello and welcome back. So uh, today I want us to look at a very important topic that especially I have received a lot of DMs and um, I felt that it would be wise for us to be able to handle this topic today. So uh, today's topic is understanding the menstrual cycle, especially for our ladies. Yes, because once you understand the menstrual cycle very well, okay, you will be able to know at exactly at what time you are very fertile and at what time you can actually get pregnant. So this is a very important topic for our, for our ladies. Now, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel that is Dr. On Wheels. But also you can follow us on social media platforms that is um, uh, Zawadi Premier Hospital underscore Ngong for our Instagram and Zawadi Premier Hospital Ngong for our Facebook page. Now, before we start, um, uh, I want us to listen to some words of wisdom from the book of Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. And the Bible says, His divine power has granted us all things that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his glory, to his own glory and excellence. So let's dive into it. So when you see me with a pen, um, just get your pen and uh, paper, okay, because you're going to do a lot of writing because I want us to understand this cycle because when you understand the menstrual cycle, you'll be able to know exactly when you got pregnant. Okay, so let's dive into it. So the menstrual cycle basically is from the first day when you got you, you get your menses, so the first day when you get your menses, and up to the first day of the next menstruation. So let's say, for example, um, if you start menstruating today, okay, so today is on 16th, so the next, so the, the cycle will be complete the day when you will start menstruating again, probably next month, okay, so that will be the complete cycle. Now, understanding what happens in between here is very important, okay. Now, there are people whose menstrual cycle is... Um, is regular and there are people whose menstrual cycle is irregular. So let me start with the regular ones, okay? So the people whose menstrual cycle is regular. So let's say, for example, your menstrual cycle is regular at 28 days. So, which means every 28 days. So if you're getting your menses today at date 16, Okay, you're going to get your other, uh, the next menses, okay, 28 days from today. So, um, those are the regular ones, okay, and then there is the person whose regular is constant at 26 days, okay, so every 26 days, and then there is another one whose regular is at 21 days, okay, so those are the regulars. Okay, now the regular one mostly is from 21 to around 35. There are those who, after every 35 days, they will be getting their menses. Okay, so those are the people that I'm talking about at the moment, and then after that, we are going to discuss the irregular ones. Now, if your menses are regular, normally the menstrual cycle has two phases. Now, these two phases we have to understand because that is where now the gist of this topic is. So it has two, two uh, phases. So we have what we call the, for, uh, the ovarian cycle. So the ovarian cycle is what happens at the ovary level, okay? And then we have the uterine cycle, which what happens at the uterus, okay? What we call the uterine cycle. So that is the layman's language. But when we come to technical uh, bit, uh, um, uh, language, we'll say the ovarian cycle is the follicular side phase, okay? So where the follicles, okay? So there is maturation of them, uh, of the eggs, okay? What we call the ovum or the follicles, okay? And then after that, 
you have another phase okay so that phase basically ends at the time when you ovulate okay so the follicular phase ends at the time when you ovulate and then you start now the uterine phase or what we call the luteal phase okay now the luteal phase okay will uh, will end at the first day when you start menstruating so the, the first day of your menstruation that is the time when the luteal phase ends now when it ends the follicular phase starts okay so it is a cycle that's why it's called a cycle so you start with a follicular phase okay and then after ovulation okay the uh, luteal phase starts and then it continues up to the time when you start ovulating the first day when you start menstruating the uh, luteal phase ends and then the follicular phase starts okay now the other thing that we need to understand here is that whether your menses are regular or your menstrual cycle is regular or irregular the luteal phase is constant okay it is constant so you must underline that the luteal phase is constant and the constant of the luteal phase is 14 days so let's say for example your cycle is a 28 day cycle so so from the first day when you start menstruating when you minus 14 days okay then you are going to get the day when you ovulated. That's how. Okay. So if you are um, you your cycle is a twenty six day cycle. Okay. So uh, and then so if your cycle is a twenty six day cycle, so you get your menses every twenty six days. So when you minus fourteen days from the twenty sixth day from the 26 days okay it means then that you ovulated on the 12th day from the time you started menstruating okay now let me break it down so let's say for example today is uh, on 16th and your cycle is uh, is um, is your cycle is a 26 day so you basically end up ovulating on the 12th day so if it's 16 you add the 12th day okay and then you are going to get around 28 so you are going to ovulate on the 28th day okay of this one okay i hope we are clear up to that point so we need to understand the little phase is constant okay it's 14 days so let's say for example someone whose uh, cycle is after every 21 days okay so 21 days you minus 14 days and there you're going to get how many days you're going to get around eight um, seven days okay give or take yes seven days so you're going to ovulate on the seventh day from the first day of your menstruation so if today 16th okay is the day when you start menstruating okay you add seven days okay and that will mean that you're going to ovulate on the 23rd day of this month now that is regular okay so you can actually do the calculations okay if your 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 cycle is regular you can actually minus 14 days from the first day when you start menstruating and you're going to know the day when you ovulated comes out so now we are clear on the day when you ovulate now the second thing that we need to understand so that you're able to know at the, at uh, um, um, the fertility window at what time you are able to get pregnant okay is Number one is how long does the egg stay alive, okay, or the ovum stay alive, okay? So the ovum of a woman, okay, stays alive for around 12 to 24 hours. So let's say, let's, let's give it the maximum, okay, 24 hours, okay? So what does that mean? It means then a woman can only get pregnant only one day. In a, in a month 
okay the time when that egg is active okay so if you ovulate today let's say today is 16th and you have ovulated at 6 p.m okay so by 17th tomorrow at 6 p.m if fertilization has not taken place during this period then you're not going to get pregnant that's clear okay now the, the sperm okay that is the male egg okay can take three to five days in the human body that is in the female reproductive system before it dies okay and that is where now the gist of the whole of this topic comes in okay so if it takes three to five days before it dies what does that tell you <clears throat> it tells you that <clears throat> for a man for a woman who has a 14 day cycle okay for a woman has a 14 day cycle and they are ovulating they have started their menstruation today okay it means they are going to ovulate on the 28th day okay so if they are going to ovulate on the 28th day okay their fertility window will start five days from the 28th day so 28 minus 5 that is 23rd so from 23rd this woman is not fertile because what does that mean you can have sex on 23rd and then you have not yet ovulated okay but then the sperm will stay in your system and they will wait until the 28th day okay before they fertilize the ovum okay we to get up to that point so that's why it's five days plus the day of ovulation okay which is a total of around six days okay so the time you know the time when you are ovulating you can actually detect when you can get pregnant okay now you can use this information actually to do what we call um, natural family planning especially if your menses are regular okay when you count the first day <clears throat> when you get your um, um your menstrual cycle okay the first day you can count 14 days and you know that is the time when you ovulate okay so you can actually calculate if you're 21 days you know that you are ovulating every seventh day of the month if you are 26 days you know you are ovulating every 12th day from the last time you started your menses and then for the 14th day you know you're ovulating at for the 28th day you're not ovulating on the 20 on the 14th day okay so you can actually plan and say uh, um this is the window okay so um for the people who um have irregular menses okay but we said the luteal phase is constant okay so for them they can only calculate it backwards okay so they can only calculate when they got pregnant if you test positive today okay and uh, uh, you remember the last time you got your menses okay you can actually ca uh, count uh, 14 days and you know when you ovulated but then that one it means once you ovulate and then the next time you get your menses then it means then you um that month okay you did not get pregnant so for the people whose menses are irregular sometimes it becomes a bit difficult but if your menses are regular then you can actually calculate when you get your uh, you, you ovulate now the other signs that can help you to know at what time you ovulate during the time of ovulation okay basically the temperature your body temperature will increase a little bit okay and then the cervical mucus will be very thin okay to allow for easy swimming of the of the sperm okay and then sometimes the mood changes a little bit and for the ladies they become a little bit horny 
Okay. Now, if this has been very helpful to you, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can follow us as well and you can leave a comment below and I will be happy to be able to read your comments. Otherwise, God bless you.